How did I make a million dollars in crypto? It's a very popular title and it's a very popular topic and I think that it's a very nice or short summary of what everyone wants to achieve in crypto. If you're looking at an average YouTube channel, people are seeking for whatever altcoin that does a 100x because that is what people are seeking that's what people want to achieve however it's a very difficult one to achieve and if we are answering the question about how did i make a million in crypto it's very simple i bought a, a coin i held the coin i sold the coin that is basically how you make a million dollars in crypto it's very simple however it's not that easy in which 99% of the people are looking for financial freedom and only 1% is able to do the work that's required to get there. And to be honest, yes, I am fortunate enough to actually have some very cool income right now. I am fortunate enough to have a few beautiful cars which don't really matter if it comes to life. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have lovely people around me. I'm fortunate enough to have a beautiful home right now and to have this company with the social media that you are following and thank you for that. However, I've grinded for several years and to come here where I come or where I am right now, it took a lot of pain and it took a lot of grind and it took a lot of hours overall. People are usually saying, hey, you should get some more sleep or you should get some more sun. Yes, but I've been grinding for several years because I wanted to achieve something and I had some health issues as well, but I wanted to achieve this financial freedom or at least get close to it. And now I want to start sharing my story instead of shilling all the ton tons of projects that I could be shilling, but that's just a short term target because in the end, people will lose faith in you. And when we come back to actually the grind, I've lost a big ton of money, several moments in life. At some point in time, I think I lost half a million as well. Um, some point in the journey during the March crash of 2020, I've lost a ton of money, but that was one of the most painful moments in life. And I think I've learned a lot out of it, which I'm sharing towards the social media platforms as well. And when we're talking about social media platforms, it's a platform or that became quite toxic in terms of content. There's tons of good content on social media, but there's also tons of shit content, uh, which is bringing the worst in people above, or at least they're showing the true colors of a ton of people which are just ecocentric. Social media is a platform where you might think that it's easy to get where you want to get because people are showing off with lots of stuff. They're showing off with their lifestyle um, through which the assumption is made and making a ton of money is very easy um, to do so, but it's not. And it uh, requires years of dedication to actually get where you want to become. Um, the uh, markets have been going up in 2021. The markets are going up. Well, some coins are going up right now as well, through which the impression is made that it's quite easy, but it's not. 95% of, of the people will lose money. Most of the big show-offs you are seeing right now on social media will lose their faith or will lose their money and at some point will go back to watch their normal lifestyle. That's how it goes. So don't fade away with all the facts that you see on social media or all the shows that you see because it's bullshit. People do not want to work for what they want. That's what you see in all those chats. If you want to get a 100x altcoin gem, you hop in towards a YouTube channel thinking that you're getting some real information about it, but it's actually just a stupid mindset because you're listening to someone that's making money on that actual project dumping on you because that's such a short-minded um, idea of that actual YouTube channel. You should be grinding, you should be learning about DeFi, you should be learning about projects and finding those gems yourself. And self-education is rewarding for that heavily. Also, if you have a few setbacks, you still should be pushing. So, people should be focused on the target at the end of the tunnel, but, um, that is essentially the target at the end of the tunnel is for most people, I want to make a million dollars, right? It's just a target, but making a million dollars is not really the target. The target is that you want financial freedom and you should be starting to put in the work, start thinking about simple goals to actually get there. 
You don't need a 100x, you can also just start building with 10% on every trade, or you can start building with an APR, or just simplifying all the targets to actually achieve what you want to achieve, because every slight uptick with your life is a step moving forward. So start learning, start um, educating yourself, start building your portfolio with proper risk and portfolio management. Because if you start compounding those three things, at some point it starts to become exponential and then you are going to get where you want to get. Start reflecting yourself on what you're doing. Start building passive incomes and DeFi is generating you enough. And when you're doing that, you will achieve the target that you want to achieve, which is, um, as a matter of fact, becoming a millionaire isn't really one. Making a million on a trade isn't really one. Doing what you like to do, whenever you want to do, and where, from where you want to do it, that should be the actual target as you, uh, you're living without a financial limitation to it. Stay true to yourself in that period in between. Because in the journey, you will be losing people. And I've lost a few people that I've got close to me. I've got no contact with them anymore. And money has changed that. Um, so stay true to yourself. Understand where you're coming from. Start compounding your knowledge, start compounding your profit, start thinking in a simple way, stop listening to bullshit you hear on social media about the next 100x gems or ridiculous targets for some projects that really make no sense at all and start improving your mindset when it comes to the markets and that's the tricky one but I know that you can do it and I will see you again tomorrow.